Imagine you're a happy family living in Central Texas in a suburb of Austin, Round Rock. And one night you decide to smoke some marijuana after your two-year-old daughter's gone to bed while you watch a movie. Something over 100 million Americans are estimated to do every single week. A good secret police neighbor smells the marijuana, calls the police, and they come with the CPS and take your two-year-old happy daughter who would never been in the hospital and never been sick and never been beaten up. You go for weekly visits with your daughter and she's dirty, she's confused, she has black eyes, bruises, mold is growing on her body and her clothing. You go to the state and say, she's being abused, help her, and they laugh at you. And a month later you get the call, she's on life support, her head has been caved in. Two days later they take her off life support and she dies. Another victim of this tyrannical government that we have that is incentivizing the states to seize as many children as they can. Over a million of them a year. The Justice Department's own numbers show the horrific facts. The most dangerous place a child can be is in state custody. Little Alexandria Hill, or Alex as she was known, will never get to grow up and be part of the spelling bee at school or the swim team or softball. She'll never get to go to college and meet the man of her dreams and have her own children and grandchildren. She's dead. Another casualty of this sick society we have that has the largest prison population in the world. Every authoritarian state throughout history has been obsessed with attacking the family and seizing children from their parents. Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia, Maoist China. But they never did it on the scale that we see here in the United States. And every day I see cases in Texas alone where people's children are taken for the most petty of reasons and end up dead, raped, tortured, killed, their heads caved in. The children disappear routinely and end up overseas in snuff films and pornography. Our children are one of the favored commodities of the criminals that run our government. And the people that are in control of Williamson County, Texas, are famous for their abuse of the innocent and famous for their abuse of children that they've kidnapped from their parents. And I want to say something to the child predators in the police department in Williamson County and other areas in the United States. When we take America back, and we will, you will be tried for your crimes against humanity. You want to now charge one of the foster parents for supposedly caving this little girl's head in? You are just as guilty knowing how hellish those facilities and those homes are where they warehouse kids for money. You know statistically there are more pedophiles and more abusers who literally torture those children within inches of their life and that the state covers it up because it's part of a sick racket. And you need to know that it's all on your head, just like all the other cases in Williamson County where they've known people were innocent and known who killed people's wives and children and done nothing to prosecute the real criminals and gone after innocent people. You will be charged for that crime as well. And those charges are now forthcoming. And you will be brought to justice in Williamson County and everywhere else for the crimes you've committed. Your tyranny can go on for a long time, but sooner or later, God is going to cut you down. You shouldn't fear Alex Jones, and you shouldn't even fear the American people. You should fear God because God is real, and God is the law. You will be held in judgment for what you've done. All of you, the judges, the police, you are all accomplices in aiding and abetting the torturous death of children in Williamson County and across the United States and places like North Korea where they take families' children as well for collectivization into the state. For those of you who have only been passively involved in the industry that is the abuse of children at the hands of the state in this country, there's still time for you to admit the facts and go public and speak out against this evil and turn the tide. 
I will forgive you. The parents of the abused and dead children will forgive you. And most importantly, the creator of the universe will forgive you. And yes, even little Alexandria Hill, who is beyond your wicked grasp, will forgive you as well. Join humanity and let us stop the modern slave trade in children that is taking place in this country. And finally, all of you out there watching, there are children being kidnapped for the pettiest of reasons in your town and in your city. Become an advocate for those families. Volunteer to expose the incredible miscarriage of justice where a Stasi spy neighbor smells marijuana and a month and a half later a little girl's head is bashed in. Did that family deserve to have their daughter killed in state custody because they smoked pot? Is that really land of the free, home of the brave? Or is it really a system designed to capture nonviolent, non-criminal people in a parasitic system? I'm Alex Jones signing off for Infowars.com. The ball is in your court. The rest is up to you. The innocent children are crying out, not just here in the U.S., but worldwide, under state and corporate abuse. Those children are counting on you to research the facts we've laid out here today and to come to their aid. If you won't, who will? Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.